Have you ever wanted to play as Leon in a Resident Evil Resistance? Or maybe Claire or Ada Wong or Marvin? Or maybe even Hunk? Well, today, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and play as these characters in Resident Evil Resistance. Hello, everyone. My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3. And as you can tell, things are pretty different here. Today, I'm going to show you how to play as Leon or Claire or Hunk or Marvin, Ada, Catherine. Or this isn't going to be a build guide today. This is purely going to show you how to play as these characters. And we'll go into a little bit about what changes even when you use the cosmetics. Because even when you change cosmetics, you still get to use these characters, which can be kind of funny sometimes. So let's get straight into how you install these. And then I'll show you a little bit about what happens after they're installed. So first things first, I'm sorry, PS4 players. This is not going to work for you. This is a PC mod. You can install all sorts of stuff on PC when it comes to visual mods. I actually have Mr. Goose. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I do not count the deaths anymore. But then I never did. But today we're going to focus on getting you the Resident Evil 2 characters instead of getting you Mr. Goose. So you're going to get all these characters here. And I'm going to go through step by step how to do it. So one of the first things you're going to need is you're going to need to install something to help you unpack these things called the RAR files. So I'm going to have a WinRAR and it's download in the description down below. And when you open it up, it's going to be a program that looks like this. So go ahead and download WinRAR. And then when it's all downloaded, you can go ahead and just type in WinRAR and you can click that and it'll come right up. OK, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this page that I showed you or I'll just put a link in the description for you so you can download this Fluffy's Mod Manager. OK, it's fluffyquack.com. You're gonna click that, and then the file is gonna download. It's gonna say modmanager.rar. Mine has a little one there because I've already installed it before. What I would do in this situation, if you're not super familiar on how to do this, is make sure you go to show in folder. And once you have show in folder, double click up here, and then control C so that you can copy this file path. Okay? And then you're gonna go back into WinRAR here, and you're gonna double click up here, and you're gonna paste that, and you're gonna press enter. And then that will bring you to the same place that Mod Manager had installed. So once you're in your downloads folder in WinRAR, make sure you go find the Mod Manager. You might have a bunch of downloads, so it's going to be under M. So click Mod Manager and then click Extract To. Once you click that, then you're going to be able to go ahead and make a folder or put it in whatever folder you want. So for me personally, I like to put things on my SSD here. So I click my SSD and then I click New Folder and then you can name it whatever you want. You can be like, wee, whatever. Whatever you want to name it. You might name it something like Mod Manager, but I clicked Wii. Okay. <laughs> so once you click that, go ahead and press OK. And it's going to install it. And then if you go into your folder here. Let me go back to where I did Wii. <laughs> You're going to have all this stuff extracted into your Wii folder. <laughs> so what you have to do after this is you got to double click Mod Manager. And you're going to have a bunch of options on a game that you get to pick. Okay. What I would do is click resistance and then you're going to have no mods found. Well, we're going to go ahead and change that. OK, so you can go right ahead and X out of this or just keep it open and refresh later. But I'm going to X out of it. And what you're going to want to do after you go and click Resident Evil Resistance, you're going to click games, resistance, mods, and then there's going to be an empty folder in here. And this is where you're going to put your mods that you want to install. OK, so let's go back to the page that has all of the different skins after you get the folder set up there's going to be a file all the way down here which i'll also just put in the description you can go ahead and click this this media fire link and it's going to download so you click download and once it's downloaded go ahead and click this little arrow here click show in folder again and then when it shows up in your folder you're going to see complete re2 character pack so go ahead and click that and then Control x to cut and then you're going to take this rar file you're not going to unpack it like you did the Fluffy's manager. You're just going to take the whole RAR file and then you're going to go find that folder that we set up earlier, the Wii. Okay. So you're going to bring that up. You're going to go into the mod section of the Wii folder that we had set up and then just control V to paste. It's going to bring it right on over. There you go. And then once you've done that, go back all the way to where you initially installed the mod manager. Double click mod manager again, start it up. And then you're going to have a choice to install this or really whatever mods you want. So we're going to turn it on. And then what it's going to do is it's going to install a bunch of stuff here right now. And then launch the game through the mod manager. And when you launch the game, it's going to 
unlock all of these different characters for you. And then if you ever want to uninstall these mods and just go back to your regular characters, you can just click this little toggle again, and then you'll be back to normal. And you, this is how you will manage all your different mods. I have Mr. Goose. I have Albert Wesker. I have a bunch of stuff installed on, you know, the other instance of this on my computer. You can put on this Luffy's Mod Manager really whatever you can find. So let me go into Resistance here, and then I will show you what it looks like when I go ahead and have these characters installed. So now I have Resistance started up because I launched it through the Fluffy's Mod Manager with the mods turned on. And you can just go straight to your characters and you'll see them right there. So I'm gonna go to Customize and then I'm gonna go to Survivor. And here they all are. It works just like that. There's not a really a whole lot you gotta do on your end to make it work. Something to keep in mind <laughs> is that these are kind of placed over the top of characters that are already there. So that means that Leon is replacing Sam. So Leon's gonna have Sam voice lines. This is purely a visual pack. <laughs> Hunk is going to be over Martin, so Hunk's going to be like, Nerd power! <laughs> Marvin's Tyrone. Ada is January. Catherine is Valerie. And Jill's still just Jill. <laughs> oh yeah, and Claire's back up. I didn't say that already. And on top of that, you're also going to have the option to put cosmetics on them. So each cosmetic is going to affect each character differently. So for Leon, for example, you'll notice that his belt is really where it shows through. But it does get a little bit better with Leon. So I have the golden skin on Sam here. And it shows through Leon's belt. But for some of the other skins, you'll see that they still kind of work. So you could have Leon looking like Mr. America here with his crazy hair. Or you could go ahead and have Hunk with any sort of Martin skin. And then it's pretty much just Martin except he's wearing Hunk's mask. Same with Claire. She kind of takes the textures that come with Becca, except she can have like gold pants if you want to put those on her. You get a lot of options here. Ada can kind of look like January because sometimes her hair will turn white or she could just, you know, punk rock a Jan here, but she'll keep her face. The weird ones for me are Catherine because Catherine she looks a little different to me compared to the other, <laughs> other ones for some reason. I think it's because she's kind of taxidermied in Resident Evil 2. But... Really, it's the hair when she keeps Valerie's hair. <laughs> That's what really weirds me out. <laughs> so yeah, after you go ahead and get them installed, really all you got to do is you can go into a match here, you can go into practice mode, you can do whatever. So I'm going to go into practice mode just to show you what it looks like. And then this will work in your regular matches. So let's go ahead and take Marvin here. Going to replace Tyrone. And it does a really good job with all their facial animations, even when they're poisoned. Everything just translates over really, really well. It's really surprising. I cannot let you live. And then here the he is. You can go ahead and play as him. She won't beat us if we stick together. Well, like I said, you'll still have the voice lines of the characters before, because this is not a voice pack. This is purely a visual pack. But you can play as any of these characters. Now, things to keep in mind: it's not going to affect the game for anyone else. Only you are going to see these skins. You're, people that you're playing with, they're not going to see that you're Marvin. They're not going to see that you're Leon or Claire. It's not going to give you any sort of advantage because they just see you as you are. So if you're Becca, but you're you know Claire. They're just gonna see a Becca on their screen. So you don't get any advantages. It's not cheating. It's just purely for your own entertainment. And it's pretty cool. And the, all the animations work really nicely. The facial animations even work when they're poisoned and all that. Like I said, it translates really well. Even if you wanna go ahead and use emotes, like everything works. It's really cool. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you get to go ahead and play as these characters if you want to, or if you wanna go ahead and find different mods like Mr. Goose. Mr. Goose. Guys ready to do this? Like even their face moves. Mr. Goose is a really great time. We also stream every single night, twitch.tv slash swingpoint. That link will also be in the description. I would love to have you guys over there. We stream around 10 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for being a part of these videos. You guys are awesome. And then I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.